The man once called Special K was a basketball player to the core, growing up in the heart of New Jersey. We didn't live too far from the playground. If I wasn't the first one there and I heard somebody there, I would jump up and go to the playground. <laughs> you know, so it was just the love, you know, it was just love for the game from the time I touched the ball. Kenny Fields was a multi-sport athlete at Plainfield High School and earned All-American honors in basketball and football. I didn't know what All-American was, man, tell you the truth. I didn't even know what I was doing. Only thing I know is I just played the game and just had fun and just enjoyed life. Fields' athletic career was turned upside down after suffering a knee injury while playing junior college. Before that, like I could dunk in my church shoes. But after that knee injury, it wasn't the same after that. The speed wasn't the same. He quickly regained his passion to play with an ultimatum and a recruiting call from coach Jerry Hemmings. I came home from playing ball one day and my mom said, hey, coach from Canada called and said, did you want to come play up there? And I was like, mom, I, I really don't want to play ball anymore. I just want to get a job and start my life. And um, she said, okay, that's good. She says, good. I went out, played some more ball. I came back. And when I got home, I had a suitcase and my clothes on the porch. And um, I said, Ma, I told you I didn't want to go to Canada. She said, you don't have to go to Canada, but you can't live here. So that made me get on that plane real quick. Field starred with the Bobcats from 1982 to 1986. He led the Bobcats in field goal percentage in 83-84 and helped them reach the national final. In 84-85, he was named a Great Plains Athletic Conference second team all-star. I enjoyed my three years there. Even though we didn't win the championship, we came close twice. And that showed me to just work harder in life. Fields became an assistant coach with the Cats while completing his education. He now lives in Griffin, Georgia. For 10 years, he worked with the Boys and Girls Club of America and the Salvation Army. His focus has shifted to assisting troubled youth at his local high school. 90% of the kids that come to in-school suspension, they're angry. I always take it as a mission before an hour I want them to be, you know, not happy, but I want them to have that anger off of them. And and if I can show them how to take that anger and, and you know, change it over and do it as quick as possible, maybe they can stay out of that situation and they can learn how to, you know, cope in the classroom. Reaching into his past prepared fields for the future. The Bobcat experience was an integral part. When I went to Brandon, I met a lot of good friends. Brandon really surprised me and it showed me how to treat people. I can't say enough. 